Nice to see Kenny Brightbill here in the pit area at, I almost did it again, I almost said Syracuse. We are here at Super Dirt Week. Kenny now 75 years old. Of course, he was here last year, was attempting to qualify for the Legends race. First of all, how are we doing today? Everything's good. Yeah. So what exactly happened? I remember I talked to you right before you got in the last time. You said, I got to run faster. What went wrong? Well, just my lungs got bleeding and uh, I had to take him to the hospital. And okay. Try to get everything straight and they got everything straightened up. And that wasn't something that just happened that day that, that had already been happening? It was happening before and I quit racing in 2017. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just came here to do a little fun thing and, and uh, because I had blood thinner in me, they really bled bad, and I was lucky that uh, they got me to the hospital one time. So. Is it safe to say that the stress and everything of being back in the car might have been a big factor? Know, or? I don't know if it's stress, it's just something that happens when I get in the car. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know that anything's happening, but it does, mm -hmm. I guess. Well, anxiety, blood pressure, I would imagine all that uh, stuff would rise, right? Adrenaline. Yeah. I guess your adrenaline gets going. Okay. Pressure goes up a little bit and bleeds more, I guess. Okay. I don't know. So I heard, did you have trouble getting out of the car after the, after that last session? No, I didn't have trouble getting out of the car. I, I was trying to get out as fast as I could because I couldn't breathe. Okay. And, you know, so spitting blood. And, Jeez. So. so what did they evaluate, what did they do when you when you got to the hospital? Do you remember? They just kept me under for a day and a half. Oh, they induced a coma kind of? I, well, I, never, I didn't wake up till Saturday from Thursday night. Okay. All right. And, uh, had a breathing tube in me, Ooh. and they kept me under because so I wasn't fighting for air. And, right, uh, to cut, my lungs could calm down and mm -hmm. get everything straightened out. So. How long were you in? Four days. Four days. Yeah. Was it a pretty quick recovery? Yeah. Once they got the blood out of me, everything comes back to normal. Okay, but now we are not entertaining any more ideas no, about racing, are we? It. So what have you been doing over the last little bit? Uh, what did what did uh, Mike McLaughlin say? A donkey farm or something? Oh no, that was a joke. He said that's right. It was there was no actual donkey pan, right? No. I, I have a small farm and I do hay and I have okay. a shop. We do some welding and fixing people's junk and whatever else. You know. Okay, junk or race cars? No, uh, people bring stuff there to get welded up. And oh, so not racing related? No, just most of it ain't racing. You're almost like a blacksmith in the town, just uh, welding sort instead. Of, so. Fix anybody's junk up. All right. or whatever. What, where do you farm? Hey, I do mostly hay. Okay, good year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except you, we had a dry spell there in June, but okay. for a month. But uh, other than that, you know, okay. that was a good year for hay. So what are we doing? Just seeing everybody and yep, visiting on your old friends? everybody and hanging out with the old friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and consoling Tim Fuller, I heard, too. Yeah, so oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he had a big draw, and I guess the track got much faster as the session went on. So what advice do you have as, as a guy who's done this for some of these newer folks that, that might be feeling the nerves a little bit? Just got to deal with it. Yeah? No, no magic answer there. No, there ain't no magic answer. All right. I'm glad you're doing better, Kenny, seriously. And, okay, thank you. Uh, I hope you have fun. Big thanks to everybody at Garofalo's. Uh, make sure to check them out. Go there, get, get some sausage for me. And, of course, Billy Whitaker Cars and Trucks for making this happen. Kenny, okay. I'm so glad you're okay. We were all very worried about you. And I'm thank so you. happy to see you here today. Good. Thank you.